The Apsley Gorge is a deep chasm cut into the New England tableland. The gorge starts dramatically as the Apsley River disappears, tumbling over two large waterfalls into the depths below from the rolling farmland near Armadale and Walker in New South Wales. 50 years ago, Easter 1967, Don Finch of Sydney Bushwalkers led the first recorded descent of Apsley Gorge, which you can read in the Sydney Bushwalker on the internet. Evening before our descent, <laughs> we're trying to work out how you actually get in. I don't think down that cliff. It's certainly recommended to arrive early to survey access options to the gorge floor, but also to admire the wonderful views from the network of friendly tracks around the gorge rim. There is a nice campground with picnic tables and gas barbecues to stay the night. A very steep and direct spur from the campground leads down to the gorge floor. The gorge is spectacular, with sheer rock walls towering 150 metres straight up on either side. The river emerging from the gorge just beneath the lower falls. Knowing there would be many swims, we brought wetsuits and inflatables. However, wetsuits weren't required because the pools are quite spaced out and the water not too chilly. The first of two main obstacles can be down climbed with care on the true right, or possibly jumped after checking for submerged debris. The second obstacle here is about a one meter jump, or Mel's going to see if we can climb down that ledge. The second down climb leads to a hundred meter swim through an impressive narrow chasm, probably the highlight of the trip. Helmets in the gorge are essential because there is constant rockfall from the eroded walls above. Interestingly, the river runs for large sections under the rock rubble, so make sure you carry water. The riverbed's been dry for at least half a kilometre, if not more. It's nice to get to Stony Creek and have some water, but we're treating it because there are cows above. There was the unpleasant stench of death throughout the dry sections, from animals falling into the gorge and metre-long eels being caught out when flood waters recede. Family of goats up there, that seemed to be shadowing us and showering rocks on us. Just as it was time to start looking for a campsite, we found another swim, maybe two. Less than an hour before dark, got no idea where the next campsite is and we've got another swim coming up I think. And my boat is dead. Completely. I only just made it across that pool. We found a flat spot big enough for the two of us in the trees there, so we've stopped for the night. Sheltered from the right of screen as we're looking, but somewhat threatened from the cliff at the left. There were several rock falls during the night, but all landed in the river, fortunately. Just as the Sydney bushwalker trip found 50 years ago, progress is slower than expected with the boulder-strewn gorge floor. This is a typical scene in the Apsley Gorge, cliff collapse and rockfall. Steep spur taking us up to our ridge that will take us back to the car. Pretty scrubby, pretty steep. Yeah, there's no way I'd go down there. <laughs> The Apsley is a spectacular trip through a rarely visited gorge, but it's probably a once in a lifetime objective given the constant threat of rockfall. Five jelly banana. Best five bucks we ever spent.